Hi guys, welcome back to the train layout. Today I have a brand new update for you all. We're going to talk about what's been done to the layout, new acquisitions, as well as future plans. Now let's get started. So right now I'm using my phone to record this update because I usually use a ca camera and I put that SD card from the camera into a computer which I use to edit. Well that computer is sadly out of commission so I'm gonna have to do this in one take. Luckily I can upload videos from my phone still so yeah let's get started please excuse the background noise because my house likes to make a bunch of funny noises so just ignore it so on the left hand side we have another merchants row one this is the third one i have i bought it at a small train show for a very cheap price and as you can see, I have my first one over there, my second one, which is unpainted, and then the third one, which is right there. The only downside is it didn't come with the sidewalk, but it's fine. And best of all, the building came pre-painted. It came out very well. You can tell whoever had it stayed inside the lines, because I know I can never can't. If we go this way... In the last layout update, this was all barren wasteland, but now it has civilization. So what's new is I bought another shopping center. It is, which one is it? It's the one further down. And I bought this from the train, the same train show from, from where I bought the Merchants Row 1 that you saw earlier. And... Another thing I got was this train station. Now this was my first big kit that I had to put together. It may look good on camera, but, but when you're building these kits, you have to really take your time. I mean, I took my time, but not, but not enough time. You can see there's still glue residue, especially on the roof area. And whatever stuff that looked like was floating, I just covered it with bushes. It gives it more character. Now, if you're statistically supposed to use super glue, but I'm afraid, but I'm afraid to because last time I used it, I ended up ripping the skin off my finger, my fingers, and it really hurts. So I use super, I mean not super glue, hot glue, which is even more dangerous. But it does the job. The only thing is, when I'm putting the glue down and trying to move it away from the structure, it's like. A small slimy trail trails out and then when I'm done with the kit I just have to pull it pull all those little little bits off but I think it came out okay and with the train station I also had these painter sticks you get from the paint store and I use them as platforms. Now they don't look realistic because of these little notches cut out. But when I have a train stop here, the doors don't ever open over the notches. And I and I like it. So I painted it concrete and added the yellow line. All it needs is the fencing separating the tracks and from the parking lot. And then it'll be done. And glue in these, glue in these benches. Another thing is I moved these trees that were previously all the way over there in that corner to here. Because I think it would look a lot better. Now how I made these trees, I made it a lot, diff a lot different. The stuff you see that's on the trees were previously, previously the material I scraped off to make the roads. So when you do that, don't throw it away. Keep it in a bag so it gets moist and then dip your trees in it. But each tree took about a week to make because, because the paint took, no, no, not paint, the glue took forever to dry and it kept crumbling on me. So, so if you wanna make these trees like this, you have to allow a week to make at least one tree. That's just me. Because I know other other companies sell 
kits where it just doesn't take too long. It takes about an hour, maybe. But I think they look more realistic like that. Come on. Okay, there we go. As well as to this area, I added the parking lots for each of the structures, the train station, and the two shopping centers. And painted the, the lines. I added a new street here. There will be a railroad crossing there, and another crossing over there. Now if we start moving this way. I rearranged that area there. Nothing too special. The only new thing here is this house right here. I bought it from the show also. It was very cheap. This house is so small I was able to put a playground in the back and a tree. So it looks very, very good. Hold on. Now I actually replaced these, those switches you see in the back with these switches right here. They, the only difference is these switches have the DCC on board so I can switch them from my remote control down there with my NCE power cab. Reason being, the ones closest to the wall, they weren't staying closed or opened. The trains kept derailing so now the DCC ones, I hadn't really had any major problems, and I'm happy with how it turned out. If we go this way, you see my Capital Limited train with one locomotive because this train is extremely light because these are the old Walters release superliners. And I'm not sure if you've seen the station yet, but the station is finished. I'm debating whether to buy another one of these and put it on the other side or just leave it as one platform. On this layout, what I model is mainly the Chicago area because I think, think it looks very busy and interesting and colorful in terms of paint scheme and all that, so... You're mainly going to see CSX and Metro on here, as well as Amtrak. Now, I know CSX doesn't really run with Metro a lot. But I guess you can guess why I like those railroads. Just look at the color scheme. Hint, hint. Now, new acquisitions, nothing really special. I just bought these two, two freight cars. have a CSX bulkhead. Black car and a con rail. 60 Berwick box car. 60 foot Berwick box car. And you can see what I paid. They're pretty expensive. As well as this one right here. Because back then, I remember this car especially, I think I bought for 14 bucks. Now it's more than double back in the day. Then in terms of future plans, I plan on adding the first of two yards on this layout. The switch will start here. Go over the bridge, there'll be two yard tracks. You can see I kind of started the yard already, and yet I need a sixth set of railroad... Cr uh, I mean a third set of railroad crossings, because I need one there and two behind me, which I showed you already. So these two tracks will come out, merge together, and then merge onto the main line. So that's what I hope to be doing between now and June.
and and I guess that's it for the Tran Leia Yacht update. If you have any questions, please comment me, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next layout update. I'll see you later.